Hi students, in this lecture, we are going to learn if the roots are complex numbers, then what is the another root in a quadratic equation as well as for the polynomial equations. Okay, so here it is the concept is if a root of any polynomial equation or a quadratic equation is a complex number alpha plus i beta okay is one root then its conjugate okay what is the conjugate changing the sign of the imaginary part then its conjugate is also be another root of that equation okay so that is the concept we have to discuss oh for this one here i am considering a statement in a quadratic equation with real coefficients high is a complex root which is in the form of alpha plus i beta then it also the conjugate complex root as alpha minus i beta okay so understand this i am considering a quadratic equation a general quadratic equation which is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 for this one it has the two roots in the question he has given that alpha plus i beta is a root now we have to show that alpha minus i beta is also a another root okay so for this one if alpha plus i beta is a root what is a root so the root has to satisfy the given polynomial equation okay now i substitute this alpha plus i beta in the quadratic equation so now we can write this as if we substitute alpha plus i beta in place of x we can write this is as alpha plus i beta whole square plus b times of alpha plus i beta plus c is equal to 0 then now if we simplify this a times of alpha square minus beta square plus i times of 2 alpha beta plus b alpha plus i times of b beta plus c is equal to 0 okay now separate the real and imaginary parts then if we separate the real and imaginary part a alpha square minus a beta square plus b alpha plus c as a real part and the imaginary part that means take i as a common then we can write it as 2a alpha beta plus b beta equal to 0 so now 0 also can be expressed express what is expressed in the form of a complex number as 0 plus iota times of 0 now the two complex numbers are said to be equal if their real parts and imaginary parts are equal now equate the real and imaginary parts we obtain over here as a alpha square minus a beta square plus b alpha plus c equal to 0 2a alpha beta plus b beta is also equal to 0 okay so from the given condition alpha plus i beta is a root then from that condition we obtaining the two equations let's consider this as equation 2 and this is as equation 3 now we have to show its conjugate alpha minus i beta is also a another root now if this is a root and it has to satisfy the quadratic equation if alpha minus i beta is a root this has to satisfy the quadratic equation or any polynomial equation now substitute x is equals to alpha minus i beta if we substitute x is equals to alpha minus i beta in the LHS of the equation and we are getting the resultant RHS or not. Okay, if the RHS is obtained, then we can say that alpha minus i beta is also a another root. Now, so from the equation 1, we considering what it is ax square plus bx plus c only. So now, substitute x is equals to alpha minus i beta alpha minus i beta whole square plus b times of alpha minus i beta plus c and if we further simplify what we obtain alpha square minus beta square minus i times of 2 alpha beta 
plus b alpha minus i times of b beta plus c. Now separate the real and imaginary parts. We obtain a alpha square minus a beta square plus b alpha plus c. Okay, this is a real part. And if I take minus as a common, then I will get as 2a alpha beta plus b beta. Okay, 2a alpha beta plus b beta. And uh, we know that from the previous condition, the equation 2, whereas a alpha square minus a beta square plus b alpha plus c is 0 minus i times of from equation 3. So 2a alpha beta plus b beta is also 0. So that means so what we are obtaining if we simplify the resultant ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 that means the rhs is obtained which is equals to 0 so from this one we can say that alpha minus i beta is also another root okay whenever we have a complex number is a root and its conjugate must be a another root Okay, this is the important point while solving the polynomial equations. So now, if a quadratic equation having an irrational root, which is in the form of alpha plus root b, where root b is now what is, what is a beta is not a perfect square. Here, I read the instruction. So, in a quadratic equation or any polynomial equation with real coefficients has a irrational or sad root. What is the irrational root in the form of alpha plus root times of b, sorry, root b, where alpha, beta or the rational and beta is not a perfect square, then it also has a conjugate. What is the conjugate alpha plus root b? Alpha minus root b. Okay, alpha minus root b is another root. Okay, alpha minus root b is another root. So, these irrational roots also will occur in the conjugate pairs. Okay, if alpha plus root b is a root, then alpha minus root b is another root. So, that means how to how find out this one? Just go with the regular procedure. What it is, let's consider the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. For this one, in the question, he has given that alpha plus root b is a root. So, if alpha plus root b is a root, this has to satisfy the given quadratic equation. So, now, substitute x is equals to alpha plus root b. Then, we can write this is as alpha plus root b whole square plus b times of alpha plus root b plus c is equal to 0 okay it has to be satisfied then what it is a times of expand this alpha square plus beta plus 2 alpha into root beta plus b alpha plus b into root beta plus c equal to 0 okay now we can write this is as, as a alpha square plus a beta plus b alpha plus c as one part and if we take root beta as a common root beta as a common we can write this as 2a alpha plus b into root beta equal to 0 so the 0 can also be written as 0 into 0 times of root beta okay now if we compare the LHS and RHS, then we can write this is as A alpha square plus A beta plus B alpha plus C is equal to 0. Similarly, 2A alpha plus B is equal to 0. We are obtaining the two conditions. Okay, if alpha plus root beta is a root, okay, if alpha plus root beta is a root, then we need to check for alpha minus root beta is also a root. So now to check alpha minus root beta is also a root. If we substitute this one in the LHS of the our consideration polynomial equation or quadratic equation, we need to obtain the RHS. So now substitute x is equals to alpha minus root beta. 
Now, if we substitute x is equals to alpha minus root beta, then we obtain it is as a into alpha minus root beta whole square plus b into alpha minus root beta plus c. And if we simplify this, what we obtain a into alpha square plus beta and a into alpha square plus beta and here it is minus okay minus 2 alpha root beta plus b alpha minus root beta plus c and uh, we can separate this is as a alpha square plus a beta plus b alpha plus c as a one part and if i take minus root b as a common okay if i take minus root b as a common then we can write this as 2 a alpha and here it is b mm, 2 a alpha plus b okay now substitute these values what it is equation 2 and equation 3 in the required condition what it is a alpha square plus a beta plus b alpha plus c is equals to 0 similarly and what it is 2 minus root uh, 0 minus uh, root beta into 0 finally we obtain this as what it is 0 nothing but rhs so we can they say that so which is x is equals to alpha minus root beta is also satisfying the given quadratic equation and it also satisfies the given polynomial equation means alpha minus root beta is also be another root okay in this lecture what we discussed just follow over here if any complex number alpha plus i beta is a root then its conjugate alpha minus i beta is also a another root okay next if any any polynomial equation having the root in the form of alpha plus root beta okay irrational roots then its conjugate alpha minus root beta is also be a another root okay if the roots are in the form of irrational numbers what it is root p plus root q okay if the roots are in the form root p plus root q and here the condition comes as root p what is minus root q is also another root and minus root p plus root q is also another root and minus root p minus root q is also another root uh, which is the most important one if any quadratic equation or a polynomial equation sorry if any polynomial equation having a root p plus root q as a root and root p minus root q is also a root minus root p plus root q is also a root minus root p minus root q is also a root for the polynomial equations okay this is applicable for polynomial equations of degree 4 and higher orders okay so this is also be another important one okay now we understand with one or two examples over here here the question is given that form the polynomial equation whose roots are 2 plus 3i and its conjugate 2 minus 3i is also another root he has already given and 1 plus i and its conjugate 1 minus i is also a another root in the question he has directly given so sometimes if the question is asked that uh, form the polynomial equation whose roots are 3 plus 2 plus 3i and 1 plus i if the question is given in this manner then what is the another roots complex number is a root and its conjugates are also the roots that means 2 minus 3i is also a root and 1 minus i is also a root but in the question without any doubt he has given all the roots okay complex number given and its conjugate is given so directly we can solve this as so any polynomial equation if having alpha beta gamma delta as the roots the polynomial equation can be written as x minus alpha the monic polynomial x minus beta into x minus gamma into x minus delta equal to zero okay the same thing we have to apply over here so that means here x minus what is 2 plus 3i okay with the first factor then x minus 2 minus 3i is the another factor then x minus 1 plus i 
into x minus 1 minus i. Okay, x minus 1 minus i equal to 0. Okay, right. So now we can write over here as this implies. Okay, so we can write this as x minus 2 as a real part minus 3i as an imaginary part from the first factor. Similarly, from the second factor also x minus 2 plus 3i separating the real and imaginary and x minus 1 minus i into x minus 1 plus i equal to 0. Okay, now the first two factors within the form of a minus ib, a plus ib, we can write as a square plus b square. Okay, we can write this as a square plus b square. That means we can write as x minus 2 whole square plus b square means 3 square means 9. Okay, next. The next two factors are also in the form of a minus ib into a plus ib. So, we can write as a square plus b square. Z into z conjugate equals to a square plus b square. That means here we can write this as x minus 1 whole square plus b square means it is 1 and equal to 0. Now, if we simplify this and uh, what is x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 9 into x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So, that means it is nothing but simply what it is x square minus 4x x square minus 4x plus 13 into x square minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. Now, if we multiply these two factors, okay, if we multiply these two factors directly, I am writing the solution as what is x power 4 minus 6x cube plus 23 x square minus 34x plus 26 equal to 0. Okay, I think you understand how to find the polynomial equation if the roots are given in terms of a complex conjugate space. Okay, now the question is find the polynomial equation or form a polynomial equation whose roots are 4 root 3. Okay, 4 root 3 and 5 plus 2i. Okay, we know that if alpha plus i beta is a root and alpha minus i beta is also a root. If 5 plus 2i is a root, obviously 5 minus 2i is also be a another root. Okay, and which in the form of 4 root 3. That means what it is just we have discussed if alpha plus root beta is a root and its conjugate irrational root. What is alpha minus root beta is also a root. But here alpha equals to 0. That means 0 plus 4 root 3 is a irrational root. Okay, then what is another root? 0 minus 4 root 3 is also a root and here we can write as 4 root 3 is a root means and another root is minus 4 root 3. Let consider this is as alpha, this as beta, this as gamma and this one as delta. Okay, right. So, to form, uh, form the quadratic equation for these two and form the quadratic equation for these two. That means we can write this is as what it is alpha plus beta sum of the roots as simply 0 and product of the roots alpha beta as what it is minus we can write this as 4 root 3 into minus 4 root 3 16 into 3 that means it is as 40 yards. Now from for, over here gamma plus delta is equal to 10 and gamma delta is equal to we obtain this as 25 plus 4 as 29 and now we can form the quadratic equation over here as x square minus sum of the roots into x 0 into x into product of the roots minus 48 this is the factor over here and over here is x square minus sum of the roots into x into product of the roots 29. Okay. Now product of these two. Why? Because the equation must be in the form of x minus alpha into x minus beta 
into x minus gamma into x minus delta equal to 0. So this can be obtained over here and x minus gamma into x minus delta obtained over here. Now the product of these two x square minus 40h into x square minus 10x plus 29 equal to 0 and uh, simplify this then the simplification is our required solution and we obtain the resultant as x power 4 minus 10 x cube minus 19 x square plus 480 x minus 1932 equal to 0 this is our required solution okay i think you understand if any rational root is given and its conjugate is also a root and if any complex root is given sorry irrational root if any irrational root is given and its conjugate is also a root and if any complex root is given and its conjugate is also a root okay students here another important question so he has given form a polynomial equation whose roots are i minus root i root 5 sorry i minus root 5 that means it is a combination of complex as well as the irrational numbers okay then how to solve this one okay if i minus root 5 is a root then i plus root 5 okay i plus root 5 the irrational conjugate i minus root 5 is a root and i plus root 5 is also a root and similarly and its conjugate what is i minus root 5 conjugate is minus i minus root 5 okay i minus root 5 conjugate the given root i minus root 5 conjugate changing the sign of the imaginary word minus i minus root 5 is another root okay its conjugate is another root from the complex conjugate and whereas this one is what is this one from the irrational conjugate i minus root 5 is a root means i plus root 5 is also a root and for this one it is minus i minus root 5 it is also a irrational number and for this one what is the conjugate minus i plus root 5 minus i plus root 5 okay now here we are having the four roots just observe over here it is a combination of irrational and complex numbers i minus root 5 the conjugate of this one is changing the sign of the imaginary part that means minus i minus root 5 is also a root but for i minus root 5 it is a irrational number for the irrational conjugate what is i plus root 5 is a root and for its conjugate minus i minus root 5 and it is an irrational number for this one its conjugate is minus i plus root 5 okay now here we have let consider this is as alpha this as beta this is as gamma and this one is as delta okay now we need to find out the solution now we can write this as alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is nothing but simply we obtain it is as 2i and alpha beta we obtain this is as 5 plus 1 it is simply minus 6 okay minus 6 then now gamma plus delta we obtain this as minus 2i and gamma delta sorry gamma delta we obtain this is as again minus 6 okay then simply product okay if we product this we obtain our required result okay then now what it is x square minus 2i into x minus 6 here is a factor and this factor is x square so plus 2i x square plus 2i x minus 6 okay x square plus 2i x minus 6 okay which is equals to 0 simply nothing but x minus alpha x minus beta into x minus gamma into x minus delta and we can write this as x square minus 6 minus i times of 2x is a factor okay x square minus 6 plus i times of 2x is another factor now which in the form of a minus ib into a plus ib so the resultant is x square minus 6 whole square 
plus 2x whole square equals to 0. Now, if we simplify, we obtain the result as x power 4 minus 8x square plus 36 equal to 0. Okay, I think you understand how to solve if the roots are given as a complex co conjugate pairs as well as the irrational conjugate pairs. Okay, in the next lecture, we will come with more problems. Thank you.